I don't qualify to sell my sperm uh, because I have, I guess what they would call dumb cum. That's probably not on paper anywhere. That's probably not like the real term for it. But me meaning, I don't qualify to sell my sperm because I don't have a college degree. I didn't go to college. Therefore, I don't qualify to sell my sperm. You have to go to college and get a degree to sell your sperm. Did you guys know this? No, nobody did, because that's a fucking ridiculous requirement. I have to get a college degree to uh, into a cup? Are you kidding me? It's, no, it's bullshit, okay? Because it's not the same, it's not the same standards for the women going to buy this sperm, by the way. They can be as dumb as they want. Do you have any idea how many women I've came inside who can barely read, let alone went to college, Miss Goody Two Shoes? You want to make those same mistakes when you're a responsible adult. Is it something funny while I'm opening up to you? You got something you want to share with the class? What'd you say? Not today. Not today. All right, well then shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, I'm, so, I'm telling you a very serious story, okay? It's very vulnerable. It's going to make a lot of people uncomfortable, and I can't wait. I get too attached too easily. I know that. I'm always wanting to say I love you first. Like, oh, I had a great time last night. When can I see you again? Like, I'm that dude. And I think that's why I can't go to prison. <laughs> like, like it, it's not so much the showers I'm afraid of. It's just like, what if I fall in love? You know what I mean? Like, like, like what if I meet the one and I get out before him? Like, now I can't go see my boo? Are you serious? <laughs> I got to meet him with a glass every week? That's not going to work for me. I need communication. All right. I'm back in court trying to get my sentence extended. Just please, Your Honor, I'm begging you. How do you plead? Guilty of love, Your Honor. I'll do anything. <laughs> Matt, you're only in there for a week. What happened? I was in the cafeteria, and he put me in a chokehold and said, give me your fruit cup. And I said to myself, now there's a guy who knows how to get what he wants. And now I'm Devontae's fruit cup. That's how it works. Here comes this chick lugging in this giant piece of cardboard. I'm like, where did you get that? She goes, it was just out there. <laughs> Bitch, no, it wasn't. No, it was not just out there. So she brings it in, she sets it on the coffee table, and we both sit on the couch, and I'm, I don't know where it came from. I, gotta, I, I lift it up. It's from the TV box I threw in the dumpster four days prior. This chick brought garbage back into my home to summon the devil. So you know the sex is gonna be dope. <laughs> She's fucking crazy. I'm in. I got to do it now. You know what I mean? I mean, I've never smashed a homeless chick before, but she clearly brought all of her things. This is why comedy is the most frustrating job in the world. It's because this is the only job in the world that I would have to reiterate to y'all what I'm doing. That I'm just kidding. I don't mean this shit that comes out of my mouth. Rappers don't have to do that. Rappers are literally like, I fucked your bitch and killed your family. And y'all are just like, ah! They don't gotta be like, I'm just rapping. I'm just rapping, y'all. I, would, I wouldn't do nothing like that. I'm David, you know me. I wouldn't do nothing like that. Like, oh, well, why do you hang out with so many black people then, huh? What do you wanna be black? Fucking, a little bit, a little bit. It, it's so much cooler some of the time, okay? Every white person wishes they were black a little bit. Any white person who says they don't is a fucking liar or a cop, okay? Do not believe that for even a second. Sometimes you go quick. You fuckers leave me hanging on this right now like I'm the only dude who's at, at my special. Y'all gonna disrespect me like this. Y'all ain't shit, man. Oh, oh, I'm the only person ever to bust fast. Hilarious, you guys. Y'all ain't shit, you know that? It happened. I like this topic only because it's, it creates such a divide racially between black people and white people when it comes to the topic of school shootings because it's, it's usually us. 
And black people love to joke all the time. They love to be like, oh, you know, it's all the white kids shooting up all the schools. You know, shooting up the schools, a white kid's sport. <laughs> I hear that joke all the time. Shooting up the schools, a white kid's sport. It's funny. It's, it's a good joke. Until you think about the history of sports. Because if I know anything about the history of sports, it's that if white people are good at it now, black people are gonna be way better at it someday. <laughs> I predominantly only date older women, just personal preference. Like late 30s, early 40s, oh my God, such a sweet spot. Oh, well, not ones who sit in the back. Uh, <laughs> This bitch is wooing from her handicapped spot in the parking lot. <laughs> I also don't know if you match the criteria. It's got to be late 30s, early 40s, man. Because women are kind of like Captain Crunch, right? Like, they're the best right before they're gross. <laughs> Fuck y'all, that's a solid cereal joke, okay? Okay. <laughs> Because if you fuck with Captain Crunch, if you fuck with Captain Crunch, you know it's a very fine window. If it tears your mouth up and it's oatmeal, okay? It's a very fine line. When's the last time you got an Amber Alert on your phone and your first reaction wasn't, oh shit, how do I turn this off? How do I... Uh, none of y'all, like, we gotta find these kids! Not one person. Y'all haven't found a kid since milk is in a carton, okay? Judge me. It's a terrible app. It's the worst app. It's vague. I'd be on the lookout for a 2015 silver Prius. Like, is he in my Uber? Is this a ride share? Did I hit pool? The alarm's the worst part, by far. They haven't changed the alarm in like 30 years. It's still the same. I get so mad when that shit goes off on my phone. I could be standing next to the kidnapper and be like, hey, is it in the settings? Like, go to general. Notification. It's been my favorite show to watch. Just white people trying to outwoke each other in front of black people. Because it'll always start reasonable and then just gradually get out of hand. Like, white person number one will start low. Like, well, you know, I voted for Obama two times in a row. You're like, all right, solid politics. Okay. Now, white person number two has to top Obama. So he's like, that's crazy. I was just talking about how Jesus was black. You're like, yeah, well, walked on water, probably couldn't swim. <laughs> My check out. Now white person number three is gonna top Obama and Black Jesus. He's panicking, he says some ignorant shit like, well, Medea's my favorite franchise. You're like, gotcha, liar. La Medea is nobody's favorite franchise. <laughs> Not even black people's, <laughs> okay, you all. In, in looking for, for a partner, what would you say? Take your time, we've got plenty. <laughs> three strikes? You gave him three? Well, do you feel comfortable telling what his strikes were? Oh, three marriages. I know, you're the problem. I thought, I thought maybe he fucked up three times. Wait, are you guys, are you guys a couple? Yeah. Gay couple? Yeah. How old? 65, 65. 65 year old gay That's couple? Cool. Let's go! Yeah, okay, Yo! That's what Whoa, I'm talking second. about! So, so y'all were gay when it first came out? Yeah, that's the, pro, that's that prohibition gay. <laughs> 27 years? Wow, Man, y'all, y'all been gay since you had to go to theaters, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. My hometown was so country, man. We used to have, uh, we used to have drive your tractor to school day. <laughs> Swear to God. Do you guys remember school spirit week? 
Well, like every day of the week would have a theme to it, like pajama day or twin day. We would have one day in that week when like the rich kids would pull up and just fucking flex on us, John Deere style. And the women in my school would just get wet. Like, oh my lord, he's got land. Cause that's all people cared about where I was from, was fucking farming. Like you didn't need eight inches if you had eight acres. Like that was, <laughs> that was the biggest flex you could come with. You couldn't compete with a farmer. If he's plowing land, he could plow your bitch straight up. Like there's just nothing you could do. Nothing you could do. Yeah. How's that going? I made it, I made it a point to uh, keep my happiness to myself. Oh. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't, the streets will never know. Huh? Why can't you just be Because, happy? dog, that's what happened to you last time. <laughs> literally come, Bro, uh, literally come to DC Improv in December, like glowing about his new girl. <laughs> glowing. The crowd starts booing him. They're like, boo! And then he faced out his girl. Like at that time on that show, I I was so I was so in love with this girl. Like, he was like, you don't love this girl. But it's crazy how much how much changes in time because at that time I FaceTimed her, she answered, of course, and in front of like 250 people, I was like, I love you. And she was like, I love you too. And then the crowd was kinda like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. And now, and now she blocked my number. So like <laughs> What are you dressed for? <laughs> they're comfortable. No, they're not. <laughs> are you kidding me? No. What size are they? Eleven and a half. Actually, let me try them on. <laughs> I can't not. I can't not wear these shoes, man. Oh. Just to reiterate, this boy got on the Mayflower Fours. <laughs> I just feel racist in me. It's something, something about DC. I just want to be like, get to work! I don't even know, know who I'm talking to. I don't even, it's not to anybody. It's, I feel like these shoes come with lambs. You know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> you're just missing a buckle. <laughs> you're just like a hip hop pilgrim. This is not the So y'all met in Riyadh? I'm pretty sure, I've never been to Riyadh in a time, but like, I feel like y'all are not supposed to fuck other people in Riyadh. I just feel like that's probably like rule number two. Don't do drugs and don't fuck the other people here. But I, know, I know this is a very personal question, but can I, can I ask what you were in rehab for? Uh -huh. Um, I was a couple other things in alcohol. A couple other things in alcohol? <laughs> what about them fucking? <laughs> I hate to tell you, it's not out of your system. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> it's, 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 it's a pretty lateral line from black tar heroin to black dick. It's pretty... <laughs> What do you want me to say? They're a lo you're a lovely couple. I wish nothing but nice, good things for you guys at all times. Is that funny to you guys? Yeah, we're just having some fun. Jesus Christ, white people. I look good, man. I got dressed up. Got a haircut. Oh, it's fun. It's not alopecia, is it? Make sure. Make sure. You never know. You never know how sensitive somebody's gonna be, man. Because he's been staring at the back of your do rag for the past five minutes, <laughs> just scratching his head like, "Fuck that smart." I gotta. Uh, <laughs> we gonna see him in a do rag in two days. Now she, you're Puerto Rican. Yeah. You look like me. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, figure it out. I mean, he's in a cool place. You know what I mean? Hey, what happens in rehab? Don't always stay in rehab. Uh, now, being in LA, is water. I, I've been there for six months. I, I live in a mansion too. And, um, mm. nah, I, 
I do live in a mansion. Y'all don't believe me? I mean, I, I live in the guest house of a mansion. You know? Technically, like, it's on the property, you know what I mean? Like, it's still, like I do laundry in the mansion on Sundays. Like, I'll be like, you want to take a look inside? It's me for an hour. You, know? you like LA so far? Yeah, you've been to the, you've been, he's, he's, Matt's visited the mansion too. Bro, and I'm telling you, it's the nicest one bedroom garage I've ever seen. <laughs> like, you know, you know here's some the, the dude who lives above me, um, he's a, he's a, he's a, what? He, there's a guy, there's, he's in bunk beds. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> what was the proposal? Where'd you get, what was the. <laughs> this can't be good. <laughs> Well, what was it? This is not like it was romantic at all. It was like in the Target parking lot. <laughs> he proposed to you in the Target parking lot? It was after a fight? I was just about to say! I was just about to say! No guy is like, I'm gonna plan to propose in a Target. You know for a fact it was like, what the what the fuck? What do you want to do? You want to marry me? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh my god. Are you proposing? He's like, fuck. He put a gun off the ground. <laughs> He's like, to fucking watch it. What are you guys doing? Work. Work? That's inappropriate. <laughs> Where do you work? Greenhouse grow tomatoes. Greenhouse for tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. I know what we call them when I smell them. Just fucking on our vegetables, huh? Dang, you'll walk around that greenhouse like, damn, all these tomatoes, all I see are them peaches. You guys are an HR nightmare. <laughs> It takes longer to get ready than you two. That's a good one. Stop fucking ugly dudes. I don't know what to tell you. It takes me 15 minutes, like a shower, do my hair, do my fucking eighth grader shirt. Yeah. Or maybe you should take longer. <laughs> it's a joke. I can't even see her, guys. It's a joke. I slept with a girl who didn't have a bed one time. <laughs> this bitch had an air mattress. You know how hard it is to sleep with somebody after you spent 45 minutes in fucking <laughs> You go, you go, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> All that work to wake up on the floor. <laughs> Honestly, stop looking at me the way you're looking at me. It's inappropriate. Honestly, you've been looking at me for an hour. How inappropriate. Bro, I would never bring my girl to see me, ever. You know what, I, I, went, I went to a club Friday night. I went to a... Uh, Mayflower. Oh, no, it was, it was Ultra Bar. Yeah, <laughs> which apparently people hate. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> yeah. But it was packed. With 18 year olds. Shut up. Fucking <laughs> 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 God damn. They were stamped up though. They were stamped. I checked the stamp. I did my ID, but I stamped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I gotta go. I'm uh, getting on a plane right now. I, I went because they were like, yo, if you if you come, like we'll give you we'll give you a free table, a couple bottles. I was like, alright, fuck it, why not? I, I like loud music, you know? <laughs> so we get there. And it was, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> table some drinks. I was like, alright, and it was just me and Brandon that went. So they're like, hey, let us know if you want any girls to come over. We didn't invite any, just so you know. 
legally. <laughs> and uh, my boy was texting me, he was like, yo, we're about to bring out a couple bottles for you. What do you want, like, the sign to say? You know, that was not like the big flashing sign. Like, so extra. And I was like, I wanted to say, happy birthday, Chief Keith. <laughs> Uh, this is a very white crowd, so for anybody who doesn't know what Chief, Chief Keef is, picture the blackest dude of all time. And he's, he's a very successful rapper. And uh, I, was, I was already dying know how fun, knowing how funny it was going to be to me just to receive that sign. I didn't anticipate that when they brought out this sign saying, Happy Birthday Chief Keef with these sprinklers and bottles, every person in the club was like, Chief Keef, Chief no way Chief Keef is in DC on the run and up. And then it finally gets over to me and I'm just like He's looking as white as possible. What do you what do you look for in a guy? Like if you could build you need three qualities. It can be physical or or or, or personality wise. Okay. You look for if you could like find a perfect guy. Alright. Um so loyalty. I'm loyalty. Not loyalty. Yes. Okay. Two out of three in the back. <laughs> hey, I'm funny as fuck though, you know what I mean? Like, I can make you come, I can make you laugh. Really loud. Are you wearing the same pajamas you are right now? <laughs> Bro, these are my clown pants. What do you guys think? I think you have too many pockets for a man in his 30s. <laughs> That's what I think. Your pants look like if you walked on the street, they do this. <laughs> <laughs> Your pants look like they keep rain out of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> My pants are made out of tent material? Yeah, man. Dude, you look like a bully. Like, you just need a baseball mitt. <laughs> Yo, Matt like has a baseball mitt, no baseball. He's just like, you guys want to play? I look like I coach a youth baseball league, but like for the bitches. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, just, just for like the single moms who are trying to kill time, you know? Yeah, you teach their son. You're like, yeah, Tommy's great. He has no arms, but how are you? <laughs> Oh no arms and no dad, I see. Interesting. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, look who's starting pitching today. Young lady, how old are you? 20. 20? Uh, Never mind. <laughs> so, are you in college? Are you in school? Yeah. What are you studying? House sciences. Health sciences. Health sciences. Health sciences. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of Psychiatry? Well, fucking say that, nerd. You know what I mean? Like, I, said, I didn't go to college. Clearly. <laughs> you go to med school after this? Yeah. Are y'all in med school? Engineering. Edge. Ooh. Got us the battle of progressive women. Oh, man. This is what I like to see. Man, y'all have to kiss or something. I don't, I don't know. Man, you a cool ass dad. You know what I mean? You have any sons? Yeah. You know how many? Hey, her and then that is okay. Hey, my bad, little bro. My bad. My, my bad, homie. Oh my god. I almost fucked your son. How crazy is that? That's crazy, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Young lady, how old are you? 20? Ooh. Never mind. <laughs> so, are you in college? Are you in school? Yeah. What are you studying? Health sciences. House sciences? No. Health sciences. Health sciences. Okay. Uh, that's going to be like a little Psychiatry? Oh, well, fucking say that, nerd. You know what I mean? Like I said, I didn't go to college. Clearly. <laughs> you go to med school after this? Yeah. Are y'all in med school? Engineering. Edge? Ooh. That's the battle of progressive women. <laughs> oh, man, this is what I like to see. Man, y'all have to kiss or something. I don't, I don't know. Dad, what do you do for work? Me? Yeah. Renewable energy. Renewable energy. Oh, you got money. <laughs> is it sol solar? Solar. Yeah. I don't have anything for that. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a regular respectable edge, like he's making the world better and shit. Just trying to provide a bright future for his sons. <laughs> there we go, we found it! I was like, I don't know if I can think of something. We fucking got it.
<laughs> Stupid question to ask. What is an engineer? <laughs> Bro, I meet them all the time around the country. It's a very normal job. So I know it's a good job. Like, what does an engineer do? Bob the Builder, but upgrade. Bob the Builder, but upgrade. <laughs> Totally different. Oh, okay. Never mind. You're back in the lead. <laughs> Is this the boyfriend that you're with? <laughs> what 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 you what you do, man? Uh, marketing. Marketing? Yeah. What do you market? Water. water. You sell water? <laughs> oh man. This is kind of the worst place to do it. It's, <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Have you tried Michigan? <laughs> Who <laughs> yelled at him? Who yelled at him? <laughs> okay, alright, but like what's small though? You know what, I mean? what, what, what would be small to you? Don't not answer the most important part. <laughs> you said like this? You're gonna die alone. I want you to know that right now. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all would never hear me tell a joke again. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck do I need to be funny for? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Yeah, obviously you don't want to have a small penis, but like, you, you also don't want to have like a giant clit either. You know what I mean? Can you imagine a dude with a tiny dick and a girl with a giant clit got together? That's not even funny. That's thumb wrestling. <laughs> Did you say magic? <laughs> Explain yourself. Did you fuck a magician? <laughs> That's dope. I have a lot of friends and a lot of guys who will do magic on dates. You, you know a lot of guys who do magic on dates? <laughs> so a lot of, yeah, this has happened a lot where guys have done magic tricks on dates. Dudes are out here doing magic? How the fuck do I compete with that? Watch me pull a condom out of my pocket. Oh my god. Yeah, what app is that? Ta-da! Oh, you're not on Ta-da? Oh, you gotta get on Ta-da! But also... Practicing magic and is like, this one's for the bitches. <laughs> oh my god. That's some slithering shit to do though, isn't it? That's some slithering shit. Wow. So this isn't a guy you've been on a date with, this is guys you know. Um, yeah, it's happened to a lot of my friends. You're saying it happened like they forced magic upon me. And I don't I don't think that's the case. Unless they fucking put them in that box that they're supposed to saw them in half, or like, now you stuck. That's, that, that, that's problematic. That's incredible. You know how many dates I go on where I'm like, fuck, what do we talk about next? I wish this bitch would pull a fucking seven of hearts out from behind her ear or something. I guess I have gone on a date with a girl one time, and about a month later, she made a baby disappear. So.
have it all force. <laughs> and when you first met him, what was his red flag? What were you like, mm, I'm gonna look past it for now. <laughs> She said, I married my drug dealer. Wow. Gives a whole new meaning to meth mouth, doesn't it? Oh my god. You're a stoner? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> this labeled the drug act. Short on cash? <laughs> I believe in you guys. I'm also calling Child Protective Services. <laughs> 15 years, you trust him? Absolutely. Yeah. He sells drugs. <laughs> You're sure. Uh, what, 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 what do you do? You're a property manager? Yeah, this just seems like an excuse to use a unit to go leave it. You guys got a little Breaking Bad situation going on right now. You guys are awesome. I'm sure you guys are super fun parents. So fun. Is this weed I found in your jacket? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm not mad that you're smoking weed. I'm mad that you bought it from somebody else. <laughs> 